It was another tough day for the West Indies against hosts India in the first test at Rajkot as the Caribbean team was left tottering at 94 for 6 in their first innings reply at Stumps on day 2. They trail by 555 runs. Renardo Brown reports. With 364 for 4 on the board, India's captain Virat Kohli and Rispa Pant entered day 2 eyeing three figures. And both started in the same way they left off from the opening day. Kohli in particular took a liking to Shannon Gabriel's pace, dispatching the Windies quick for a handful of boundaries. Kohli eventually brought up his century as he shared in a 133 run partnership with Pant, who was dismissed eight runs short of another test ton. Ravindra Jadeja joined Kohli and they posted a 64 run partnership before Sherman Lewis returned for the scalp of Kohli for 139. But just when the Windies felt the end of the Indian innings was near, Jadeja pushed on to score his first test century. With a score at 6.49 for 9, Kohli had enough and waved in his team. Bishu was the best Windies bowler taking 4 for 2.17 followed by debutant Sherman Lewis with 2 for 93. Recent history has shown that first inning scores over 500 always favor the teams batting first and the Windies' top order did little to help their cause. The Windies never got the solid foundation they needed as Shami uprooted Craig Brathwaite's off stump with a score on two. It was a continuous slide after that as wickets kept falling at crucial moments. Shami accounted for both openers and then a horrendous mix-up saw Shimran Hetmar run out just when he looked to be settling. Only Roston Chase with 27 not out seemed to have any idea about the Indian spin attack. But with partnerships not developing, the Caribbean side reached 94 for 6 when stumps were drawn. And still some 555 runs behind India's first innings total, it's hard to see a way back for the Windies. Bowling coach Corey Collimore gave his account of the team's performance with the ball. Definitely is a learning curve. Again, coming to the subcontinent, uh, coming to India, we number one team in the world, probably one of the best batting lineups, if not the best in the world. It was not easy for them, and, and you know, not making any excuses, but we, uh, as a bowling unit, realised that we still did not bowl as well as we could have or should have. We still bowl a bit too wide, a bit too short, and we gave them too many boundary scoring opportunities. Um, that's something that they took on board. I thought today was an improvement. Even the, in the middle period yesterday afternoon, there was you know, some improvement in how we bowl. Um, look, first or second test match is always going to be difficult, and going forward it's something that they would you know, take on board and help them in their careers. Third day action resumes tonight at 11 Jamaica time. Renardo Brown for TVJ Sports.